Assalamualaikum and good morning to our lecturer Dr. Hambali and all my good friends. Today, we want to present about our project for a rapid manufacturing system. We want to present about our product which is a iron board. This is our team members. First, we have Muhammad Haziq as a project director and then me, Bazir Suhaimi as a project management and then we have a Damia Shahira as a market research analyst. Lastly, we have a Muhammad Hamizan as a manufacturing engineer. We have some objective through this project. First, to enhance product that exists in the market. Second, to design a product based on community problems. And then, lastly, to apply knowledge and methods of additive manufacturing design concept. Problem statement of adjustable ironing board. Firstly, it couldn't fit all sizes of garments. Second, it is non-ergonomic and not flexible that can cause us big pain. Third, somehow it gets stuck when it is folded on the previous design. Lastly, it is inconvenient to store the ironing board with the typical ironing board size. New product development process has four stages which is phase zero project proposal that consists of mission statement which specifies the target market of the product. Phase 1 is project planning which includes design process and ETC. Phase 2 design concepts such as prototype fabrication and phase 3 product development where the rapid tooling begins. Next lab is concept sketch. As you can see in this slide there are three proposals that we have proposed to our lecture. For sketch number one, concept that we want to do in this project is portable iron board. For sketch number two, it is wall mounted iron board. And finally, our last concept that we want to do for our project is portable iron board. After we have meeting and discuss among team members, we choose portable iron board as our design. Next slide is concept design. In this concept design, there are 27 alternative and 3 sub-functions that we have list including design, board and legs. As you can see, the left of the left table of the slide, there are 3 alternative methods which is A, B and C including cardboard, closet and portable for design, fixed built-in and maximum space for board and finally fix lower and next slide is concept selection for design of adjustable ironing board as you can see that portable get the height with weight lifting which is 11.6 the next slide is concept selection on board of adjustable ironing board you can see that maximize space get highest rating which is same to design 11.6 Next slide is concept selection on leg of adjustable ironing board. Among fixed, lowered and folded, folded get the highest weight lifting which is 11.8. After all the concept selection that we have read, we choose the highest rating weight lifting for our final selection. Among the three concepts that we have list, we finally selected concept C as our product. Next, feasibility study. We already choose design concept C which is this design, improve the space for any the clothes and the board can be folded. We have selected a sketch from design concept A until C refer to the customer needs and target specification. Many factors that we already take from this design concept, this which is a design concept C, which is their performance, stability, convenience, maximize space and efficiency, storage and convenience. In that way, we plan this project design is feasible and will take another step in the development process. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I am Hazik. So, for the material selection of our product, it is divided into four types of material, which is plastic vinyl formaldehyde, steel burnish, wood cedar, and aluminium alloy. For the board and level lock part, it is injection molded from plastic PF, while for the lower part such as stand cross, pin, and U-plate, it is made up of steel burnish. Then, for the middle part, it is cut out of cedar wood, 
and whereas the iron rest plate it is stamping from aluminum alloy. Next, we move to drawing. This is drawing of the configuration design and details design. Next is parametric design. In this parametric design, we included with the first order calculation of bending moment structure of iron board with the iron mass of 1.5 kg and additional of 700 gram force of pressing. For the prototype fabrication, we are using Ultimaker Cura software to simulate the printing process of a few part enhancement of our product. Due to the standard size of simulation software, we had to downsize the scale of the parts to certain percentage to simulate the printing process. Most of the parts that are simulated takes around one day and a half to finish the size process. Then, we have a rapid tooling. Rapid tooling is known for many names including prototyping tooling, prototype mode, and soft tooling, hard tooling, direct tooling, and also uh, indirect tooling. It is important to differentiate between the concept and the realization as there are many ways of achieving the same result. Rapid tooling is used to utilize the junior generation grade of fabrics, permitting a much clearer picture of how the parts will act in real world application. In this our product, we already choose direct tooling because the process is a direct use for rapid prototyping model to produce the plastic, metal, and ceramic parts. We use a some part which is a sick part in this our product to produce a direct tooling process Cost, capital expenditure capex are funds used by a company to acquire, upgrade and maintain physical assets. Therefore, we only use laptop, printer and technical equipment with the total cost of 5,284 ringgit. On the other hand, operating expenditure OPEC consists of printer in refills, papers, petrol, internet data, tools, research and development and utilities that cost us RM5610 ringgit. In a nutshell, additive manufacturing has showed us how fascinating current approach of developing parts. As computing systems have gotten more efficient, the availability of tools to slide CAD models for layer by layer production has opened the path for additive manufacturing to thrive. The technology has the potential to significantly alter and improve the way we manufacture products and produce goods around the world. It enables a quick, dependable method of producing tailor-made products that can still be made low-cost due to process automation and distribution of manufacturing needs.